This week I'm test driving the Citroen C3 Air Cross. It's a small five-seater SUV. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the C3 Air, there's ice fix in the two outer seats. They're not within plastic guides and they are quite nice and easy to connect to. There's top tether anchorages on the back of all three seat backs. They are really close to the seat back though, so it makes them a little bit harder to connect to. Now I really thought I was going to be able to get three child seats in the back here because these seats are really nice and flat and wide. However, I could only get two in and there actually wasn't room for me to sit between them. We were surprised we could just get a 180 centimetre passenger in front of a rear facing child seat. However, they wouldn't want to drive like that for very long. In the back of the C3 Air, storage is very minimal. There is one cup holder in the back of what should be the central console box and that will hold a reusable or a disposable coffee cup. The door bins are small, they will just hold a large refillable water bottle and there's tiny little storage wells in the door handles. Storage doesn't get any better in the front unfortunately. Instead of a central console box there's an enormous handbrake and instead of cup holders you've got a cordless phone charging well. There is a USB port there as well and a 12 volt socket. There's no glasses case in the ceiling and the glove box is really small. I could only get my wallet in there with the manual. There is a little shelf in the dashboard which to be honest has housed my sunglasses this week and the door bins are a good size. I could get a large refillable water bottle in there and just get my iPad and there's those same little tiny handle storage wells. The boot floor of the C3 Air drops down about 10 centimetres, which is a lot in a small car like this and makes a huge difference when putting strollers in. Let's find out how much we can fit. Empty will hold 10 shopping bags, or the mountain buggy duet twin stroller, no parcel shelf and two shopping bags, the Brightax Flex tandem stroller fitted with the parcel shelf and two shopping bags, the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle single stroller fitted without the parcel shelf and five shopping bags and the Mountain Buggy Nano compact stroller fitted with the parcel shelf and seven shopping bags or a medium sized dog. The C3 is quite an interesting car to drive. The gear lever is really clunky and it's actually quite difficult to use. There's a screen in front of the steering wheel that's like a digital watch rather than a car display. And it's a bit like driving a van. It's actually very loud and the engine is quite revvy and noisy. The media system in the C3 Aircross is a bit outdated and it's also quite slow to react when you press things. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto though, which are good features. When you put it into reverse, the camera image is a bit pixelated and this image is small. It's handy to have that picture from above, but you can only mute the parking sensor sound deep within the screens rather than an easy button. So to sum up with the Citroen C3 Aircross, that boot space is fantastic and there is considerable interior space for an SUV of this size. However, I'm not sure I could have a car without any cup holders. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au